Alright YouTube, welcome to part 2 of this Petromax fix up, clean up, and hopefully fire up. Uh, where we left off, I had this soaking in some vinegar and uh, still no bueno. I did put it in off camera and no bueno so what I want to do here is take a look and see if possibly I might be able to get this thing pulled apart and and find out what makes it tick it's got this lead washer on it this lead washer here which I'm trying to be careful not to to mess up while I uh, fiddle with this Let's see if I can break this open so, so what do we got inside here it is yeah it's a pip and let's see if I can get uh, maybe like a small I'll bit my fit in there. Not too big. Not there we go. Okay, I'm gonna push this. I'm gonna just use this bit here, drill bit to push down, see if I can push this pip out. Oh yeah, it's 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 stuck, but there it is. little springy thingy spring looks all right I'm gonna clean this inside use this to get some gunk out out of there this is exciting video isn't it I can feel like crap that was in the inside there that making it stick happens now if I put it in. Let's see if this uh, moves freely like it should. Okay, it's it's springing and it's moving in there now where it wasn't before but I can feel it catching on something. It's like you can kind of hear it as it goes down and catches and the top of the pip is really indented formed whatever to the part that it connects to there's a better shot right there so I may need to replace that I'm gonna put it back in anyway because it, it mates up right against that to keep air from going back out. I'm going to try anyway. Why not try, right? I'll give it a shot. I'm going to put it back together. And see if uh, it at least pumps. If it pumps air in to the chamber, to the fount, I'm halfway there. If it holds pressure, then I am golden. Alright, so I'm going to stick it back in. Right 
position. Grab that long screwdriver. That's closed. The needle should be up, and it is. Yes, it is. Here we go. Time to find out. Any success? Ooh. Okay. It's not pushing right back up. It's going in. There's air going in. Let's see if I can get some pressure built up. building pressure because it's pushing this pump handle out which also means that it is letting pressure escape but I think I've got I'm on the right track that's what I'm trying to say I think I'm going in the correct direction And I am, I am uh, almost ready to call that a win. Almost. So this pump stem has this little thing right here, this little catch. And on the, just underneath the handle, it has a little flat part here that will, when you go down to it and then turn, it locks it in place. Well, oh, and my uh, manometer is moving showing that I've got some pressure and then it's actually holding all right this is good stuff um okay so the next step let me release the pressure Okay, um, here's, here's what I, I want to uh, do. I want to check with anybody out there that might know about these lanterns and their safety because I don't want to burn anything down. I will be doing test firings outdoors. But my question is, with that little bit of back pressure from the uh, pump, handle that little bit is it is that enough to make it dangerous to operate um, with the pump in the locked position the seal from the the leather seems to be holding well and not letting any uh, air out so what I want to know is 
with that little bit of pressure that's coming back, will this be sufficient in the locked position to hold it and make it safe to operate? Let me know what you think. And then um, I'm guessing this is going to be end of part two. And part three is going to be uh, when it's daylight outside because right now it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what time is it? Come on, watch. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm up a little too early today. Um, so when it's uh, a little bit lighter out and uh, back from work, take this thing outside, put some kerosene in it, and do some test firing. But uh, let me know if you think it's safe to do that. All right. We'll catch you on the next one. Part three.